Hello, my name is Melinda Wood, and we will be going over corporate social responsibility, something that I will be referring to as CSR. Corporate social responsibility is a broad term used in many organizations. It is described to you it is used to describe a company's efforts to improve society in some way. These efforts can include donating money, implementing new policies, such as environmentally friendly policies, and volunteer time. As important as CSR is for the community, it is equally valuable for a company. Now let's go into what the definition of CSR is. It's a very broad term, like I just stated above, and the practices are used differently depending on the company. But it is it delivers economic, social, and environmental benefits for all stakeholders. So there's four types of CSR. The first type being environmental responsibility. This environmental sustainability initiatives enacted by businesses generally focus on two main areas, which is limiting pollution and reducing greenhouse gases. As these awareness of environmental issues grow, businesses can take, take steps in order to reduce air, land, water pollution, and can increase their standing as a good corporate citizen while also benefiting the society as a whole. The next type is the philanthropeutic initiatives. These include donation of time, money, or resources to charities or organizations at local, national, and international. So think of natural disasters such as the Red Cross, who goes and help and companies donate to those companies. The next is the ethical business practices. The best example I can give is Ben and Jerry's, everyone loves ice cream. They use fair trade certified ingredients such as sugar, cacao, vanilla, coffee, and bananas. The fourth type is economic responsibility. This focuses on practices that facilitate the long-term growth of the business while also meeting the standards for those ethical, environmental, and philanthropic practices. The next topic we're going to talk about is corporate responsibility and what it involves. So what it involves is working in partnership in local communities, socially responsible investment, developing relationships with employees and customers, and environmental protection and sustainability. Now, there are six reasons companies should embrace CSR, because not every company does it. So the first reason is in innovation. In the context of CSR, innovation is such a big benefit to the company and society. By creating a product that is sustainable, a company is more effective and successful. The next type is cost savings. This is the easiest area for a company to save and gain sustainability in order to find ways to cut costs, such as less packing, less energy, and these add up quickly in a business. The next type is business brand differentiation. This basically is how, with your CSR, you're being different from other companies that are competitors. The next is long-term thinking. CSR is an effort to look at the company's long-term interests and ensuring that the company's future is sustainable. The next type is customer engagement and employee engagement. If What's the point of CSR if no one knows about it? So you need to get the employees engaged, you need to get the customers engaged and know what you stand for, whether it's using corporate social responsibility to engage your customers some way and using the products to help CSR as well. Next, we're gonna talk about benefits for the company of what CSR. So there's many I can list. Let's start with a couple, the desire to do good, customer loyalty, making a profit, license to operate, cost reduction, et cetera. There's many options. So the approval of local communities can be easily won by socially responsible behaviors. So behavior becoming a socially responsible company does not only involve costs and charities, but it also brings benefits to them and society. The next thing we're going to talk about is the, the gaining advantage against competitors with the CSR elements. So the first one is creating a positive image of the company. Uh, businesses can influence customers and other members of commu communities by maintaining a responsible representation. The second type is shaping proper relations with all of the stakeholders. By showing the stakeholders' needs are important to a company, for example, by increasing transparency in relation to constrictions, but also to environmental actions and to respecting human rights. The next type is increasing employee morale. 
around the office. This inspires employee loyalty and motivates employees to do efficient work. Next, let's talk about taking social responsibility of a company into consideration by consumers. So with consumers nowadays, they have so many options, so it's nice to have a brand that has a successful CSR for the company. The next type is managerial decisions. So this directs managers to establish more sustainable strategies. In the end, this creates more valuable value for the company through more reasonable allocation of resources within the business. The next is developing CSR rules by the company that has advantages. If a company is able to set their norms themselves without government creating restrictions, they're allowed, they can adjust in their own conditions. So benefits for society include contributing to the well-being of society, society benefiting from better quality of products, and I can give you a couple more. There's social activation, improved quality, sense of security, etc. So there are some criticisms of CSR, which include hypocrisy of a business not really, they're just doing it for the public relations, not the benefit of it. Also, it's difficult to measure CSR. You don't know how to measure it correctly, and so there's not a real correlation on how CSR improves society. The other one is ec economic concerns when they should actually be focusing on profitability instead of CSR. So as a whole, CSR is good for both companies and society around them. It brings many benefits to both sides. Corporations can gain financial benefits through working through the good of people and at the same time creating a positive reputation and respect, securing their position on the market. Society in which companies function can observe an increase of quality of education, technology and infrastructure, as well as better health and security of people. Thank you for your time.